What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, I was talking to Ruikon, and he mentioned that this dude's basically a T-Rex now, and he tracks your movement. So, we're gonna try, and, uh, we're gonna try that strat and see. This is the T-Rex strat, that's what we're naming it. The idea is we're supposed to just sit and wait and not do anything, and if he, uh this works he should not kill us instantly I feel like I was looking at him a couple times and it wasn't working like that so we'll, we'll find out okay, so I'm gonna sit right here So the eyes turn red when he's gonna attack. I should have waited longer. I feel like that kind of worked. I need you to look, look in the other direction, bro. Don't look over that way. At the very least, it gives me an opportunity to kill this thing. But it seems like the T-Rex strat works. You just need to just need to not not let him move, not let him do anything. All right, and now I just need to get him low enough that I can kill him with the god fists without dying myself, and we're good. trophy. Fists of legend. God, all right. Now I can take those off and not worry about them anymore. Oh, boy. Nexial agent. Soul of the arc demon. Pure dragonstone. It's Nexial agent. Isn't that like a uh, Nexial binding?
Travel across the regions connected by the Nexus. Oh, that's dope. I don't remember being able to do that before. Ooh. No bueno. I mean, that sounds like, at a surface level, that sounds super simple. Like, yeah, dude, just, uh... You know, just move when he's not looking. But, like, I swear, we had the time where I was sitting there, like... I was sitting there and I was jiggling my sword. I was just staring at him. Jiggling my sword around, jiggling and jiggling, and he just looked at me. He looked at me and he didn't do anything. He didn't try to attack. He didn't do breathe this fire. Um, and then the the other time, I was uh, I was sitting there just chilling, and it was the the same thing basically. He like he just didn't do anything. I want to bring along that scraping spear just in case uh, someone shows up. Poke him for lulls. You have a heart of gold. Oh my god. Like, just ass. Store that too while I'm here. Um, so, as for the zone where we want to go next, honestly, I think I kind of want to invade a little bit. Try that out. Because we have our have our, our stuff now so we should let's try it i'm not well let me I, I don't know if i need to be a phantom or human but i'm gonna kill my guy first i another rather save one three for another episode now that that's done it's i need i need to de-stress and the best way to de-stress is to invade and poke people with a spear piss them off Never had a chance to invade in Demon Souls before, so this is going to be a first. I can remember to run up and grab my souls first. Um, as for where we invade... That, I'm not as sure. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe Tower of Latria. Because it's like, you know, it's closed corridors, so the spear would be the extra cheeky. on this anyway 146 it doesn't find that anyone here will will jump to a different area oh never mind I need to stay I need to just stay here if I'm gonna do it sit in here. I wonder if there's any other requirements. Let's see. Uh, invasions, demon souls. Black phantoms. Uh, blah, blah, blah. NPC black phantoms. While playing online in body form, your game may be invaded by another player. They can invade in any location in a world so long as you're online in body form. Monk summons a black phantom to fight on his behalf. Oh, there we go. We got one. We got one. Poke somebody and break their gear. Shoot them with my, my fire bow. I'm probably going to get stomped. It's going to be like a dude with two summons, and I'm just going to be like, oh, no. Oh, shit. No, I'm getting summoned as the boss. Dope. I didn't think I could get summoned for this only being in 1-3, uh, so I guess it summons anywhere in the Arkstone. Yes. Invader, fighting cowboy. Coming to poke your ass with his spear of doom.
So the guy's not even here yet, but I got summoned in. What the? Look at my wobbly head. I should put on a... Uh... Yeah, throw one of these at him so he can't heal. Well, the, the dookie thing is now I gotta sit and wait. Hope the guy... Let's look at gestures. Collapse, disbelief, proposal, delight, offering, gratitude, lead, point down, hope, wait, point up, respect, honor, salute, rest, difference, and confidence. I'll just sit here. I mean, if we can get them. All I remember is that there's like two mind flayers you need to get past, and they're both like walking up a staircase on the way to this boss room. So I guess it preemptively summons you in in hopes that the man will pass the. I think that's him fighting. Sounds like he's. They're making their way here. Oh, there's the Mind Flare. I only hear one set of grunts, so I'm hoping it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Just sounds like I'm having a rough time out there. <laughs> they win? Well, they're almost here, they're almost here! Now you must beat Scraping Spear, man. Nope, sounds like they're going somewhere else. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're looking for a summon? Is it? Are they coming? Ah, oh, they're coming. Oh shit, fire. Somebody's out of MP. What do they do now? Yes. Ha 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 Yes, you'll never survive. Yes, keep healing so I can break everything you have. I'm so sorry, Galaxy Issue. <laughs> 
I hope I hope to see this dude in the comments section being like, what the fuck, man? Yes. Die. Ha ha ha. Get my jiggle on. Wait, we got it. We got to hit him with it. We got to hit him with it. We got to hit him with the point down. The point down. I'm not as big of a fan of the point down. It looks more like you're pointing instead of saying like you're dead. Oh, that's satisfying as hell though. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Oh, I think I need to, uh... I think I can only do it while I'm a phantom. Alright, where was the arc stone? Is it here? Oh, man. Yeah, I'll have- I'll have some fun with that. We'll, we'll do- we'll try and get one more. Feels slightly bad. Like, I would bet that was a new player, because the way they were running around and they burned up all of their magic on me, like, real fast, and they didn't try to play parry at all. Like, if that was a veteran, guaranteed they would have, like, they would have been all over my ass with, uh, with parries, because I was literally just R1 spamming with the spear. I would have gotten parried, one shot, and they would have been like, mm-mm. You don't belong here. So the fact that that didn't happen, definitely a new player. Right, so this doesn't have a sweet spot. So what would I want to use here? That's maybe just the, the max HP. Ah, oh, man. Kind of feel bad. And the spear took forever to kill the guy, too, so... Um, because the thing with the spear is it does... What is it? 10 durability damage to, um... Let's see. Let me look it up exactly. Alright, while this weapon's damage output is low compared to other weapons, it is unique in that every hit that lands does 10 durability damage to each item the target has equipped. When the durability of a weapon or piece is below 30%, its effectiveness is decreased. A weapon is very effective against katanas since it only takes 5 or so hits before their weapon durability is below 30%. So I'm getting 10. So if it's 10... Well, I mean, this has like 450. This has 220. So 22 hits to break the claymore. Though it's not as as broken as I thought it would be, but if somebody's healing constantly and whatnot, I could see that being pretty funny. But we'll do we'll do the claymore. I need more more souls so I can use the butcher knife and then just really start smashing people. Three levels worth souls required, so we need 35,000, roughly. I'm gonna hit him with the lava bow. Ooh, we got one. I was gonna turn my helmet on, but then I realized my head's wrapped when I get in there anyway. Oh, this is a regular invasion. Oh, Lord, no, Rasa. Oh, no, Rasa. Oh, no, Rasa, no. Gotta hit him with it. Gotta hit him with it. Yeah, you're down. You're down. Yeah, down. I'm. I made you go down. Look, you're down. 
The new point down is so stupid looking. Oh my god. Gotta go kill ourselves. Oh, I just noticed I'm taking my own, my personal tendency and I'm putting it towards black. Huh. I wonder what that does. I don't think it does anything I'm concerned about. I'm gonna invade a ton of people. I wanna get one more. That Claymore though, holy shit, that poor guy. His health was erased. Let's see, I'll look it up. Demon Souls player tendency. I know how world tendency works. Character tendency. Kitty. Kitty came down to say hi. Uh, and since if it's a regular invasion, I put on the cling ring real fast and I'll just, uh, I'll just get my health back up. All right, so let's see. Character's tendency. Tendency can be confirmed by viewing the statue. Uh, the statues, you're being summoned. I think being summoned means I'm getting, I'm going to be the boss. Um, the damage bonus of weapons is dependent on character tendency. Demon Brant, Soul Brant, and Northern Regalia. Um, see this. I can't skip it. Uh, Demon Brant. Oh no, when I'm pure black... Demon Brant has bonus damage as pure white. If I'm pure black, Soul Brant has bonus damage, and Northern Regalia is good for either. Character tendency effect. So, invading as a black moves me towards black, and killing invaders moves it towards white. It's still so weird that we're called black phantoms, but we're red. I mean, they later started calling us red phantoms, but... Back in the Demon Souls day, we were black phantoms. It's so weird how when we first zone in, we like can't see anything really, and then the color slowly comes to life. But now that you show up like this, yo know, man, I could sit here like this and just wait. Like, I wonder if I could do this, use like hidden body. Like wait for him and then sneak in and try to get a backstab, would that work? Scourging detection by black phantoms. Nah, I like I'll sit I'll just sit here and wait for him like the boss I am. It's like he's almost here. Assuming he gets past the mind flare. With all the grunts and how long it's taking him to kill, I really, really hope this isn't the guy I killed earlier. Because if so, oh my god, I'm going to feel so bad. Just try hitting him with the bow. As soon as, as soon as they come in, just line up an arrow shot. <laughs> They'll be like, ah, oh, what the shit? Yeah, the real cheekiness is when people will be like waiting there with uh, like Wrath of God.
It's only with the bow. It's not like it remembers what you were holding. It's just the bow comes out two-handed. It is! Oh no! Galaxy-ish! Galaxy is no. Oh, baby. Come on, try it. Try it. I want the parry. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is dirty because he have he ever stops this heal. That's enough messing with the bow. <laughs> this poor guy, I'm so sorry, man. If you're if you're watching this, I am I am so sorry for for murdering your poor ass twice. Oh man. Oh, that that was good though. That that definitely after after dealing with the uh, with dragon that that uh I feel like I I feel reborn. I feel better. I feel like that that was a good a good de-stressor. So, we're going to wrap up um as for where we are going next. Um with dragon god down we, I'm thinking I might go do 5-1, because now that I have the Lava Bow, uh, that area will be a, a lot easier to tackle, so I could do that. Um, I could also do, uh, what is it, 1-3. One, one, I know 1-4, what is 1-3? No, that's right, 1-3 ends with Penetrator, and then after Penetrator, I think that is uh, Final Boss. So we could do... We'll probably do 5-1 do and then 1-3. But anyway, we'll wrap up here, and I'll catch you guys next time with more.